Shalom, Ahab, Wa, Baraka. First and foremost, Kohlayama, Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, Waha, I want you to pay attention to that middle video at the top that says Gog and Magog. 17 views. Woohoo! I've been really knocking them out. Seven months ago. Let's see what it says. Let's talk about Gog and Magog. Because a lot of people say, oh, it's Russia and China. That's not Russia and China. China already backed away from Russia. So now you, you're a false prophet for saying that. It's Russia and Iran. And why would Russia and Iran be Gog and Magog? And what will they do if they work together? Well, it's this simple. Russia has control of, they have another world leader in natural gas and Iran's world leader in oil. So to help the uh, NWO, they can easily um, uh, stop the flow of the um, oil and natural gas and force everybody over to an electronic currency by destroying the petrodollar. All right, can everybody see that disclaimer? I'll give you five seconds to read it. So Motorola and... ...and for Saudi Arabia. So what did they do with Russia? Most of you already know the backstory by now, but I'll quickly run you through the events. It all began on the 5th of October. The organization of the... Diplomacy is a rather tricky game. You never know what's coming next. One moment, leaders of two countries are hugging it out, and the very next, they are up in arms. Take Joe Biden, for example. The American president was spotted fist bumping with the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman. This was less than three months ago. And now, he's promising to punish the kingdom. In an interview to an American broadcaster, Biden said there are going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia. They here stand. Wait a second now. They said, she just said right there, there was going to be some consequences for what they have done to Russia. Listen very carefully. In an interview to an American broadcaster, Biden said there are going to be some consequences for what they've done with Russia. They here stands for Saudi Arabia. So what did they do with Russia? Most of you already know the backstory by now, but I'll quickly run you through the events. It all began on the 5th of October. The organization of the petrol exporting countries, along with Russia, announced that it would cut its oil production by 2 million barrels per day. And like most of you already know this, the grouping is called the OPEC Plus, and it has led... Along with Russia, they were going to cut 2 million barrels a day. Let's, read, let's listen to that again. Russia announced that it would cut its oil production by 2 million barrels per day. Well, hold on now. I, I didn't go far enough. Let's try it again. For what they've done with Russia. They here stands for Saudi Arabia. So what did they do with Russia? Most of you already know the backstory by now, but I'll quickly run you through the events. It all began on the 5th of October. The organization of the petrol exporting countries, along with Russia, announced that it would cut its oil production by 2 million barrels per day. And like most of you already know this, the grouping is called the OPEC Plus, and it is led by Saudi Arabia. So Russia and Saudi Arabia are cutting two million barrels dark. The kingdom's oil minister said, and I quote, OPEC plus members acted responsibly and took the appropriate decision. The United States, however, is not convinced. It believes that the oil cartel's decision was, quote unquote, against the interest of American people. Oil cartel. Now, I'm not going to put all of them. I'm going to stop right there. I just wanted to show you guys. Gog and Magog.
All right. Shallow Wan. Call Halayla Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All his prophecies shall be fulfilled.